literally while I'm waiting for Nintendo to render out my video that I've uploaded right now on some Tears of the Kingdom news, Nintendo decides to drop a brand new one minute long commercial. This is a really long commercial for Tears of the Kingdom, and I am happy that I get to show you the full commercial. It is publicly released. This isn't a controversial situation, although it might bring up one because parts of this commercial were part of a leaked commercial from Nintendo uh, about last week when people were getting copyright strikes over it. But Nintendo, I guess, decided in wake of that commercial leaking that that wasn't going to be good enough. And they have extended it from a typical 30-second commercial to almost a full minute with additional footage, including new footage we haven't seen. It's not a ton of new footage we haven't seen, unless you count the fact that we blurred the commercial last time. Then I guess there's a decent amount of new footage here. But otherwise, it's it, it's pretty cool. Now, before we do that, we do have a giveaway going on right now for a Nintendo Switch uh, Legend of Zelda Switch OLED. We also have a giveaway for a special edition of the Tears of the Kingdom, that collector's edition out there, and a pin from Paxis. You go ahead and enter down in the pin comment or in the description. Also, we're on our road to 133,000 subscribers to match 133 years of Nintendo, so I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe. But let's get into this. First off, here's the commercial, baby. And uh, you know what? We're just going to let it play right now with no audio. And it's it's pretty interesting. Uh, a couple things to note in this commercial as we go through it is this very first shot, and I know I'm pausing right now. We're going to play it unpaused later, and we're also going to play it with the audio at the end of this video. So don't worry. We are going to be uh, you know, allowing you guys to enjoy this commercial the way that you might like. There's also a link to the Nintendo version of it down below. But we have this first shot where Link is hitting the paraglider, heading towards the floating Hyrule Castle. This is, well, not the closest shot we have of Hyrule Castle. The one we have that's really close up looks like a cutscene. This is a non-cut scene, and we really get a good look at Malice and a whole bunch of stuff. We also get a good look at what's going on a little bit below Hyrule Castle. If you look down there, it's not as much of a hole as you might have thought. There still seems to be castle walls up and various things, but we can't, we don't get to look directly down into the hole, so we aren't really sure what exactly is down there, but it is still pretty cool. Uh, just taking a look at this shot in general, and yeah, I mean, you can see you know, a, a lot going on in the background as well. Uh, moving on to the next scene, uh, we see Link running, running across a railing that is connecting two Sky Islands together, and it's actually a rail cart, and you're going to see something in a moment that's pretty funny, falls off. Uh, here, uh, Link is, is, is just building, uh, you know, one of those things that we've already seen and they're, they're going to hit the stuff and go flying with it. Except this one has double battery packs, which is really cool. Obviously at this point we know the, the flights extended because of these, I don't know if they're batteries. It, it feels like we're calling them batteries because they can be recharged, but it's pretty interesting. Also, you'll notice over here on the right, uh, this is one of those rock circles that we saw in Breath of the Wild. This used to be a Korok puzzle. That's rather fascinating that a Korok puzzle is sitting here at this point, uh, maybe still in the game, or maybe this is just a leftover from Breath of the Wild and it actually doesn't mean anything. It will be interesting to see if they left some of those Korok puzzles around or if they're not Korok puzzles anymore. I don't know. I, I kind of hope we're not doing seeds again. I hope they come up with something else new and unique. And as he, you know, he flies up here, there's nothing really notable there. Uh, then we see a, a, a mine cart with a with a thing on the, on the back with that scene before where Link fell, except we see that, well, hey, the track goes off, and so the mine cart's going to fall. But there is a solution to this we're going to see in a little bit. Uh, so in the next scene here, we finally get the flame Gliok. Uh, again, this is a part of the old commercial. Uh, it's something that we've already known about, but we couldn't really show you a clear image of. Now we can. Uh, so we got the flame Gliok. So this suggests there's going to be elemental versions of the Gliok. This won't be the only one we face. Uh, and then we get to the next scene. Uh, we see Link using Ascend running away from enemies, including, it uh, looks like a King Bokoblin. Uh, running up and, and using a send through a camp to get to the chest above. Uh, we see a repeat from the trailer, so we're going to kind of skip over the anything repeated from the trailer. Uh, we see this cool scene, and, and we've seen a brief glimpse of this before, but it's nice seeing 
a bit longer clip here where Link shoots at this flower plant that lights up this seemingly underground area with this dripping, gooey, orange thing in the back. Now, we've seen this before, but I've never like, paused on this scene, so I just wanted to, to give you guys a closer look at this underground area. Uh, next up, here we go is where we see Link with the solution to not fall off the minecart, and that is, of course, having multiple carts glued together so when the track falls off, the cart that's still on the track is holding the front cart together uh, so you can get all the way across that gap. That's a really clever solution. Uh, next up, the next scene is... The rocket scene, and we've seen this before. This is uh, apparently on Eventide Island, so nothing new there. A bunch of trailer stuff, uh, just some flashes through more, more and more trailer things, and that's how the commercial ends. So uh, now we're going to play the commercial at full speed for you guys for the next minute while I just talk. And, and just go that I'm really happy to see Nintendo continue the advertising for this game. It is something that uh, I, I don't know why they were copyright striking last week. I feel like they should have just dropped the commercial and called it a day. But I guess Nintendo said, you know what? Screw you. We're going to give you an even longer commercial with even more footage to look at, which is awesome. You combine this footage with the last video we just did where we had mentioned we're going to be getting previews this upcoming Wednesday. So we're going to have probably even more footage and more screenshots and more information. We're just going to have a lot to talk about this week on the Nintendo Prime podcast. So I do want to remind you, we do have that podcast going on this Wednesday featuring Player Essence is coming on this week. We got Stealth 40K from Twitter coming on. Uh, we got uh, Darren coming back, Andres Restart coming back. Uh, so it's going to be a fun conversation. And right now we're working out an episode to try to get some Zelda YouTubers to come on, HMK and Monster Maze and stuff like that, before the game comes out. Because I feel like we need to have a, a conversation, a theory session with some of our uh, top uh, content creators out there in the space that fit in, in the time zone that we, we do this in. Unfortunately, some of the biggest Zelda content creators are actually overseas. And because they're overseas, it's really hard to line up. Uh, timing with our podcast but now that being said what i do want to do is i want to sort of end this uh this with a look at the commercial with the sound on thankfully because nintendo has released this publicly we're allowed to do this and won't get in any trouble so you guys enjoy the rest of this trailer with the sound on and i'm just gonna i'm not even gonna pop in at the end i'm just gonna let you guys know that i love all of you thank you so much for being here thank you for being here on our journey uh, to see and wherever this YouTube channel can take us, you know, to infinity as and beyond, as Buzz Lightyear says. Uh, so I'll catch you guys in the next video and enjoy the commercial now with the sound on. Whoa. There. That's where I gotta go. How do I get over there? There! The fan! Add it! It flies! No, 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 no! Oh, you just messed with the wrong... We're goblin. Go up there! What is that? And check this out. You'll be surprised at what you can do when you master your imagination. The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, only on Nintendo Switch.